Hello and welcome back to the channel today. Um, in today's video I thought I would share five of my favourite Lightroom tips um, that I wish I knew earlier. So these are some of the tips that um, I've picked up going along as I've learned Lightroom and the little things that save me loads of time. So what I'll do is I'll jump into Lightroom and I'll show you from there. My first tip today um, is regarding the crop tool and the ruler tool um, used to straighten horizons. Um, so what I would do is, on this photograph here, obviously, um, if the horizon wasn't straight, um, I would normally go into the crop tool and um, try to straighten it up by just hovering over. And if you see the, the arrows there, I would try and straighten it like that, which was a bit of a faff and it was a bit of a, a bit of an hassle. So what I, I learnt, um, one of the little tri tips that I learnt um, while doing this is to use the ruler tool. Um, so what you can do is obviously you can change the angle by um, adjusting this little slider here. But one of the great things is if you click on this little ruler here, it brings out like a little pointer. And then what you can do is you can use it to um, align on a straight edge. So, for example, if you've got a, um, an, un, a, an uneven horizon or, or your horizon's um, not quite straight, um, you can click on it like that, draw across a line across your horizon, and it will straighten it. So, um, so for example, if I just wanted to straighten it up like that, it would straighten it up. Um, so I think that's a great tool um, to use just to straighten your horizons. Um, so, for example, if you have a... A, a, a monkey rising it can be used for other things such as um, if you're in a road taking a photograph of a road you can you can use the line to straighten the photograph that way so it's a great little tip just to use to straighten your horizons um, and I think you get more um, you get a better result and more control on it for this second tip um, it's uh, it's a little a little trick that I picked up um, where you can actually reset a slider back to its zero level quite simply and easily. Um, so obviously, if you're aware of how Lightroom works, you can change things such as exposure or contrast or you know any any of these sliders by just sliding um, the the slider across to um, you know change the difference so if you want to add a little bit more if you want to expose it a little bit higher or lower and um, you can drag the exposure slider so for example if you was to go really really far and think oh god that's a bit too far um, you could obviously try and adjust it back to zero uh, and, and find you know it's, it's quite fiddly to adjust to zero so what you can do is you can actually if you double click the um, the, I, the the little dropper that you um, pick up, um, it will actually reset it to zero. So that's a great little tip um, if you want to quickly and easily reset something back to its uh, default um, or its, its zero level. And also in this this um, this tab as well is, is if you press the Alt Option key, uh, the Option key on Mac or on Alt on Windows, um, if you can see it actually changes the text from tone to reset tone and then what you can do is is actually if you click on that reset tone it will reset all the options back to zero so if you think that you've put you've been you've gone a bit too um you know over, over excessive on them um in and you want and you think oh not happy with it i'd like to start from um start from scratch you can just do that and it will click so what I'll do is I'll just undo okay so I'll just undo and I'll just demonstrate it again so if you press um, your option or your alt key depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac and um, you can see it changing and um, if you just click that it will reset it back to um, the default level and you can start from scratch. So that's a great little tip just for resetting your exposure and um, your highlights and your contrast, but also it also works on other panels as well. So for example, if you wanted to change the texture and the clarity and the dehaze back to um, default levels, you'll see that changes. And it also works on the use saturation slider as well. Um, and it even works on the color grading. So you can see that it's changing to reset. Um, so it's, it's, it's a great little tip just for resetting um, 
a certain panel back to um, its default settings so you can start and adjust again just in case you, you wasn't happy with them options and you wanted to change. This next tip I wanted to show is um, used for when I use uh, when I sharpen an image. So if you go down to the details panel um, in the develop module of Lightroom, you can see these options um, for sharpening. So what I'm going to do is I'll just switch over to this image. Um, so as you can see, obviously you can you can dial these um, these these sliders. Um, Cross to adjust your sharpening and um, depending on how you want to see it but so but one of the things you can um one of the things i don't is, is that it's def very difficult to what to see what um parts of the image it's applying the sharpening to so a great tip for this is if you press the alt or option key on uh on your keyboard so it's a uh, alt on windows option on a mac um and you drag the sliders across you can actually see where it's actually affecting the um, sharpening so for example in the masking um, you can see that the black parts are the places where um, the sharpening is not being affected and then the white parts are where the sharpening is being applied so it's great to see what parts um, your image is sharpening so if you drag that mask across all the way it will bring more dark areas in so there's less and less parts being affected by your sharpening and then across will obviously the whole all the image will be affected by it so it's a great tip to see what parts of um, the image is actually being sharpened um, by Lightroom and the masking and it also works on the radius so you can adjust uh, ever so slightly to get um, white parts and then you know on the detail as well so it's a great way of adjusting um, the amount of sharpening you want on each image um, and I think it's a great tip and it's also a great visual tip to see what part of the image is actually being affected by what you're actually doing um, with those sliders. My next tip is um, a little trick that I learned to actually um, turn effects on and off um, just to compare the difference between the images. So in in Lightroom, in the panels here, you'll see there's um, these little little boxes here, um, they're like little switches, um, and they're on most of the boxes. So for example, if, um, as you can see here, is I've um, done a little bit of colour color grading and changed the colour of the image slightly to a more blue and yellow tone. Um, so if I wanted to compare the before and after before I did that colour grading it so if I click that button it turns it off and then it, um, it turns off all the effects in that panel so you can compare before and after so you think oh well that's a uh, and it changes it by clicking it on and off so you can compare what you did before and what you did after and what changes you've made so you might turn it off and think oh I've done a little bit too much um, so you can turn it back on and do the earlier trick that I said before to, to reset all your buttons back to um, the default state so you can start again or you can you can look at it and think yeah I'm quite happy with that um, I'll leave that to it and so it's a great way of comparing um, the before and after as to what you did to that image before. My final tip um, for Lightroom is very um, it's linked uh, very similar to what I did in the last tip where it's comparing images but what, what this tip actually does is it actually compares two images um, you can either have them side by side or, or, or up or, or below each other so in the bottom of these um, in the bottom of the car, uh, bottom of the screen here um, where the image is shown you'll see these three boxes um, which gives you different types of comparison. So for example, on this one, if I select the um, little arrow tool, um, it will show, I can click before, after, left or right, and it will bring up that image. And it will be able to compare um, the started image and the image that you've actually uh, manipulated and um, you know done your adjustments to and it gives you different options so you can have um you can have them in a split so you can adjust the split um 
and see what type of you know it gives you a great comparison between the before and after and also you can have them um, above each other as well so if you want to compare them up and above so if it's a better view for you that's quite a good thing and then um, basically it's the same way as before you can split them up above and then basically to go back to it you just press um, this button at the end and it will it will take you back to um, your your adjusted image now the button in between it is the right is um, basically what they call the reference view um, and what that does is it gives you um, what you can actually do is you compare it to a different photograph so if you wanted to so if you click on that it gives you um, a reference view to right and left so for example if you wanted to compare two images and you want them to get similar color or similar exposure or you know if you're doing a set of images that you want to look very similar you can bring this up to compare from the, maybe from the start of the image and then the rest of the images and basically the easiest way to change this um, image is to get your is to get your new photo um, from the bottom and then all you need to do is just drag it over and it will swap it over um, so for example if I wanted to um, get that image and I wanted to compare that image and I wanted to get them two images to look the same um, and I've got my reference photo which is what, what already been adjusted and then my new photograph which I'm going to adjust to look like them colours so that tip is a great way of comparing photographs to see if you want to get a set of photographs to look and feel exactly the same I hope you found those tips quite useful um, there are always um, when you, you tend to see a lot of tutorials these little tips are great and the little things that you tend to pick up from watching other tutorials are you watching other people processing um, and I always find it very useful to see how other people process images now they do um, they're processing um, to pick up little things and little niches and little tips like this um, to help your processing and I think it's one of those things you don't really know how to do it until you see somebody else doing it. So hopefully today that um, what I've done for you today and you, you're showing, um, I've showed you around those five little tips in Lightroom. Um, I hope you find them useful and I hope it helps you um, improve your process and actually speed up your processing. So if you like what you see, um, please leave a comment below. Tell me what you, you think of this video. Um, it would be great if you could just give me a thumbs up and say that you like the video. Um, if you're not subscribed already then please do so and hopefully I will um, see you again next week.